Six Drop says, never hang up the paints, Monty. People still want to see the texture of the paint on canvas in their hands versus just a printout. True, 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 mm. true. Just like they want to see the texture of a driver in a car. Uh, what, what do we got for the news this week? <laughs> what, what we, I, no, I'm, I'm glossing over that. Zoe, move us on to the news. <laughs> all right, all right. I got some news for you. I'm going to get uh-huh. away from that. I'm going to get away from that. No, you, you know, fuck it. No, I'm not. I got a problem with these driverless cars. Zoe, pull that article up. Here it comes. Look at that. Look what's happening in San, Fr- San Francisco right now. S- San Francisco neighbors say Waymo honking continues. Global audience follows along live. That is hilarious. I think I, re- I read this story about like a bunch of driverless cars all trying to park and they keep yeah. honking at each other. <laughs> yeah, they're just honking all throughout the night. I would be uh, the driver to stop that honking. Uh huh. Like, this is ridiculous. Look, look what they do. Look what they do. Yeah. Hey man, could could we call driverless cars that honk their horns throughout the night? Could we call them honkies? Yes, those are honkies. Okay. Those, All right. Those we are the new honkies. Okay. All right. Those well, are the, I the can, new honkies. Yeah, okay. And I, I could I like listen, I've never experienced Th- those honkies before, <laughs> but I've heard there's a lot of people that have a problem with those honkies in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, I'd have a problem with them honkies. I'd, I, I, I would destroy any of those honkies I saw. You know, you know what's crazy about like the, the I, I, I had read somewhere, and I don't know if this is true. Somebody verify this for me real fast. But I had read somewhere that the term honky came from like like white men were like going to like the hood to like have sex with like black prostitutes. And what they would do is they didn't want to get out their car, so instead they would just pull up and then just honk their horn and then go get in the car. And I it heard was like, the and same that's shit. Why they, and that's why they call them that. That's that's where the term honky came from. Yeah. No, I heard the same shit, the exact yeah. same shit. So maybe it's true. I don't. I don't know if it's true. Yeah, but, I don't. I don't know if it's true. If so, if someone can research the etymology of that that racial slur, please let yeah. us know. Yeah. Yeah, but I know these honkies come from driverless cars keeping motherfuckers awake all night. Uh huh. By honking okay. at each other. Why are they honking at each other? Because it, that, it, I think it's a defense. I, I think I read in the article that part of it is when another car is approaching them in a in a way that may cause a collision. The the driverless car automatically honks to let the other car know, "Hey, you're about to make contact with me." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the, all of these cars are trying to park like and, and the way I understand is like the parking lot has like maybe 20 spots and it's like 40 cars getting into those 20 <laughs> spots. So they, the, all of the cars are honking at each other, you know, as they try. It's it's like the intro to uh, the uh, what is it? The uh, 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 the Sopranos, right? <laughs> Like you cir- like the circling in the parking lot and shit and the yeah. cars are honking at each other. Like it would be the, like that. <laughs> Isn't technology fun? Yeah, yeah. But see, I'm, now I'm, you know what we should do is instead of having the cars honk at each other like geese, what if they just let out a loud scream instead? Yeah, yeah. But but <laughs> like, just like but, but not. But you don't want to. No, 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 you, so you, you don't want to. No, you don't want to scare anybody. So you got to have men screams because nobody cares when men scream, right? <laughs> So if it, if you just heard a bunch of dudes ah! just out of nowhere, right, and that and you would just hear that all night, as opposed to the, like yeah, like instead of them being honky call them scream, screamies. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Do that sound again. Ah! All right, all right, all right. Uh, Timestamp that for me. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't joking. I'm serious. Put that in the Slack because I'm gonna need that timestamp, or just clip uh, that okay. sound out for me. <laughs> All right, what else? What else we got in the news? What's going on? Um, a um, little bit of sad news. I'm not sure how this ended up, but uh, a couple days ago, Scarface found himself in the ICU. Yes, um, I read this story. Yeah, yes, I'm the guessing legendary it wasn't MC serious? Scarface treated in the ICU for an undisclosed loca- uh, uh, condition. He yeah. also had gotten COVID during the pandemic. Yeah, and and dealt with some uh, 
uh, um, some post-COVID issues. I, I think his his one of his kidneys might have failed. You know, don't quote me on it. I don't remember the article because I read that years ago. It's hard to believe that that was four years ago that the pandemic happened. Yeah, kidney or some some kind of transplant from his son. His son yeah. donated an organ to him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, we definitely hope uh, 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 Brad Jordan gets better soon. Uh, Scarface, a.k.a. Brad Jordan, one-fourth of the legendary hip-hop group, the Ghetto Boys, yep. arguably one of the greatest rappers of all time. Oh, yeah. And I, I say arguably when, in actuality, I mean easily. Yeah, right? yeah. He's a fantastic like, like, lyricist, fantastic storyteller. Yeah. On, on the he lyric made... alone, you can cry, but you'll still die. There'll be no tears in the end. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> he he put he recently did a, 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 a spectacular Tiny Desk performance. Oh, that was an amazing Tiny Desk. It fan fucking tastic. I'm gonna have yeah. to watch it one of these days. Yeah, <laughs> it was fucking great. <laughs> it's fucking great. Yeah, everybody I know says it's fantastic. God yeah, def- damn. De- definitely hold Brad Jordan, aka yeah. Scarface, yeah. in the game. And if you're having it's- trouble remembering who Scarface is, if you don't know, uh, and you want a quick refresher, remember the scene with Michael Bolton in the car in Office Space. He's listening to Scarface. He, he's oh, listening yeah. to No de- Tears. De- that, that yeah, the, the song "Damn It Feels Good to Be a Gangster." Yeah, from and "Damn It Feels Good to Be a that Gangster." Was, that it's was the song where he turns it down. Book. I got this killer up inside of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no tears. Yeah. That, my, uh, you know, uh, uh, my favorite Ghetto Boy song of all time is, uh, uh, you know, my mind's playing tricks on me. Oh which yeah, I, which I think is a lot of our favorite song. But Scarface solo uh, yeah. work. Um, yeah. Ooh, my block maybe. Yo, my block is fucking great. Yeah. 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 Or either is my block a guess who's bizarre? Guess who's back? Mm-hmm. I put my block over. I, I put no tears over all of them. No tears is. No, no, no tears is fire. Yeah, yeah. That's to me. That's his best. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, a token, token black man in the chat says, uh, we don't need another MC falling to COVID, RIP zombie of Zion. Yes, we don't need another one. We no. definitely don't need another one. No. So, definitely hope Scarface, a.k.a. Brad Jordan, gets better soon because uh, uh, I, I like people say shit like this often in hyperbole, but I'm saying it, re- it realistically. The game needs you, sir. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. We, Absolutely. I, 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 need, I need somebody in hip-hop to live to be 100. Yeah, and I, 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 I would very much like for that to be Scarface. Oh, it'd be fucking great if it's Scarface. That would be yeah, fucking yeah. perfect. But, yeah. but yeah. So, so we got that, and then, uh, oh shit, I fucked up my shit. Hang on, and Monty, and Monty fucked up his shit, y'all. There we go. Y'all know uh, all those grays y'all see in Monty's beard and head is like every time he makes a white lady have a a a a a, 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 a leg shaking orgasm, he gets another gray hair. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. like like how um, Morgan Freeman gets a new mole every time he gives out like every time he explains something to white people. It's like Monty <laughs> gets a gray beard every time he makes a white lady come super hard. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, it's, that's you know, lie. ladies, he's single. Zoe, put put Monty full screen real fast. Why, why are we putting me full screen? Just I, I want them to, to drink screen. in the the majesty of of of, of Monty. I fast. am a majestic motherfucker, but I don't need to be full screen. Yeah, no, yeah, look, listen, and I want to do something special for you right now, okay? Just give me one second, all right? I just, I want to just, you know, like, Zoe, can we zoom in on Monty? No, are we just, the no, camera no, standing? No, no, we can't all zoom right. in on me. That's what cool. are we doing? He once dated the entire women's nope, nope. Scandinavian volleyball team. Just no more full screen. No, no, I, I'll be, I'm, give me a second. Wilt Chamberlain lived vicariously through his accomplishments, his dreadlocks alone have experienced more than a lesser man's entire body. He is fluent in all languages that white women speak, right? Like Scandinavian, Swedish, Norwegian, Icelandic. He is the mahogany throat, the pumpkin spice panty droption. Pop, uh, I droption? The what is pumpkin droption? spice panty dropper. He can't the even Egyptian say shit, right? demigod. He is the most interesting artist in New Orleans. He is Monty. Stay thirsty, white lady. <laughs> there we go. What's next for the news, man? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and he's been in a move, and he's been in uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, like he's a superstar too. I he's am a superstar. In, he, I am he's a superstar. been in he's been in uh, many film 
with yes. uh, Chris Hemsworth. Yes. Uh, many, many uh, films. Damon, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. Yeah. 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 So Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes, you know, mm-hmm. been on screen with them. I been found in the out, same room I, as them. I, I found out today, though, live action animation, a uh, uh, former shit show guest of the year, uh, has been in a movie with Brad Pitt. Mm. So, All right. you know, Brad Pitt, Taraji P. Henson, and she got a scene with All Brad right. Pitt, I've been told. All right. All right. I, I got a scene with Chris Hemsworth. I'm in there. I can show you the scene. Yeah, yeah, but like she's got like a real scene. Like she got like like paid like real money to be in hers. You know what? You know what? she's not like me. Just just, not, just like Drake, not like us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> interesting pivot, I think. <laughs> yes, yes. Next in the news, there we go. Kendrick Lamar's "Not Like Us" is now the most streamed diss track in Spotify history. Yes, yes. This. This has got to be a thorn in in the owl god's face, right? Like, like he's got to hate this shit right now. Yes, right. Like, to be like this this song that made claims about him that the world is singing along, singing and dancing to. Yes, you know, a is minor. now the most streamed diss song of all time. Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah, it's fucking great. So, so and and you know, on top of that, uh. I'll, I'll jump right into the next piece of news, and then we'll get on with the show. Uh, oh, that, I got that, some that, Drake that, news. That's all it is? That's all we're saying about Not Like Us? Oh, no, that's not all we're saying about Not Like Us. Trust okay. me. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> but I got some Drake news following that. So, Drake threatens to reignite, reignite Ken, Kendrick Lamar beef with taunting new songs. And it's just a, a bar here and there, but he posted them on his fucking burner Instagram account, leaked the shit. And they're fucking vague as fuck. There's no point in breaking them down. Like I, I was gonna do lyric videos, but if if you're gonna do it, especially after not like us, just come out and say the nigga's name. Yeah, what's the what's the name of the song? Um, it is. Wait, where is it? I had it. I know it's. it's I know the song. It was one like, of them is called is... Circadian Rhythm. Uh-huh. Um, what was the one that had the? There were three shots in it. But the, like you got to guess whether it's about that. Um, new something I can't remember the name. Um, I'll find it. I'll let you know before we. Uh, I do not know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But no but face yeah. is what it's called. Is it, is it called no face? No face. No face. No face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I I saw this story floating around the internet. Uh. And I was curious to know exactly what it was. So I I, look, I, I have the, the lyrics here pulled up uh, uh, on Genius. And apparently, like, what, what Drake said was, this is the shit that my daddy had raised me on. Niggas got lit off the features I skated on. I got to know, I got to know how you get lit off a nigga you hating on. Numbers untouchable, they got the data wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He is a, uh, uh, you know, word is he wants to uh, thank you. Live action animation said in the chat, no face. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We had, Drake has always been real good at taking pot shots at people and doing it from the doing it under the cover of subliminals. And yeah. I, I, as a as a grown ass man, you got to say my name in order for me to be like, like I, I don't, I don't believe in sneak dissing. When people yeah. go, oh, he said that he was actually talking about this person. I'm like, did he say his name? No. Well, it don't count. Yeah. And I want to. Uh, like, I had a, I had a dude diss me one time. Like he came and sat in a studio session, and he was like, oh man, y'all beats is amazing. Man, I, I want to get some of y'all stuff. And I was like, he was like, how much do y'all charge for beats? And I was like, well, let's talk about what your budget looks like first, and then let's negotiate from there. He's like, no man, just tell me how much you charge. I was like, no man, I don't want to do that because what we charge is a lot. And that price is based on a couple different factors. It's like, come on, man, just stop bullshit. Tell me how much. You're... Okay, cool. We charge three thousand a track. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. And then he got on Facebook and was like, man, these niggas out here charging three thousand dollars, like they Dr. Dre in this bitch, <laughs> right? You know, he's like, hey, like, you know, he was just like, you know, don't think just because you've won some beat battles and you wear a mask that means that you can charge three thousand dollars a track now look he didn't say my name 
I don't yeah. know who he's talking about. He could be talking about MF Doom as, as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like if you got a problem with Hannibal, say Hannibal name. Right. Yeah. All of this subliminal shit, I rejected his dissing. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like that's... You know, because was he talking about Kendrick Lamar just now when he said uh, uh, niggas got lit off of features I skated on? Or was he talking about Future, who got his first number one with Drake? Or is he talking about Rick yeah. Ross? Or is he talking about JB Blockboy or Travis Scott or ASAP Rocky? I don't know who the fuck you talking about. Say yeah. his name. Yeah. Like Until he's... you say his name, it's not real. And because he didn't say his name, lets me know he doesn't want the smoke right at this moment. No. Right? Drake is not. focused on other things right now. And I actually think it was very smart of him uh, to pivot off of the disc by releasing 100 gigs of unreleased music. Right? And then to do that twice. Right? Yeah. While also having a couple of songs come out over the summertime and don't address Kendrick in any of that shit. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I, think, I think it was a smart move for him. Yeah. Thank you for watching this clip from the Hannibal and Monty show. If you like this video, check out the video above me. It is the best video on our channel. No, no. The video above me is clearly the superior video, and this is the one you should watch. He's wrong. This one. Trust Monty. No. Trust no. Me. This one. Trust Hannibal. Trust me. Mm. Vote. Vote with your click right now.